drawing, sculpturing, decorating, arts and crafts, textile and felt processing, hunting, falconry, smith works and jewellery take care of our national identity in the Kaz Art program. Look at a horse staring at the plowed field with fear, then we will see an old man on the horse contemplating about the fate of the earth in the same way. It was hard to argue against the policy in those years. This painting was created by the artist with great sensitivity and a profound philosophical idea. It seemed like it brought a sense of hope for the revival of the ruined land. This is Motherland, the painting of the nation's first professional artist, Kanafiya Tiljanov. It describes the situation related to the Virgin Lands Development Campaign in 1954. In those days, plowing 25 million hectares of land considerably affected the Kazakh people engaged in animal husbandry. As a result of the increase of agricultural land area, there was a decline in pasture land area. Honored artists of the USSR and honored artists of Kazakhstan, the state prize winner Kanafiya Timirbolat Uli Tiljanov was a representative of the generation, graduated from the higher educational institution with a degree in fine arts in Moscow and Leningrad in the 50s. He's outstanding among them. This group of quick-minded painters were the followers of the artist as Kasteyev, Ismailov and Kozhikov laid the foundation for Kazakh fine arts. Teljanov grew up in the Omsk city and studied in Leningrad. He had been brought there by his father at an early age. In his works, expression prevails. His painting, depicting the Kazakh steppe, mountains, as well as his genre paintings, are all characterized by his innovative painting style. During the Soviet Union times, which had existed for more than 70 years, the impact of communist ideology was widely reflected in the domestic genre. At that time, there were a lot of ideological works in terms of a subject matter, and as for a picture, national. The first professional Kazakh artist focused on the domestic genre created works depicting step life of the Kazakh nomads. <laughs> Kazakhstan painters were true professional artists depicting real life. They are the painters as Shayakh Mietov, Teljanov and Kinbaev. In their works as Motherland, Kokpar, the pictures of everyday life are evident. That is, in their works the establishment of a national school as well as the fate of the Kazakh people are depicted. The painting Motherland is devoted to land issues. The sound of Dombra reflects the Kazakh people's cry from the heart. He used both vertical and horizontal formats. Especially the sound of Dombra in a vertical format has a deep idea. It is a large painting in which the painter reflected his desire to return to the national life and depicts the roots of our nation. The 
All creative works of Kanafia Tiljanov are closely connected with the history and future of our country. His paintings and the traditional style with a strong idea have taken their own place among the gems of fine arts. His many works are devoted to the revolution. In those years, the Soviet Union time, the authority wanted only ideological works to be created. Therefore, he wholeheartedly depicted the novelties occurring in Kazakh people's lives on the canvas. He created works about the lives of working people, including shepherds, in general about Kazakh people's everyday life. Among them there is Peoples of Bozaral. His works, called Kokpar, Kazakh traditional horse game, became a remarkable and wonderful painting. There were a lot of painters who created works about Kokpar, but very few of them can compete with Tiljanov's Kokpar. Probably none. Certainly, everyone paints in his own way. But Tiljanov's Kokpar is way ahead of all others. Kanafiya Tiljanov grew up in an intelligent and well-respected family. His father, Timir Bulat, was a well-known public figure. Unfortunately, before the Second World War, when he was studying at the Institute of Red Professors, he was arrested on allegations of being a public enemy. In those years, Kanafiya, who was studying at the Leningrad School of Painting, returned to Kazakhstan, was enrolled to the Almaty Theater and Art Institute. As a descendant of an intellectual class, he contributed a lot to Kazakh culture. As for his pieces of work, Kanafiya Timir Bolat Uli was a painter who created classical works in the sphere of fine arts. He studied at the Repin Academy in Leningrad with a major in battle painting. Perhaps this is the reason that there are a lot of paintings on this theme among his works. The fact that we often see horsemen in his works, his expressive historical and epic paintings, can prove that he turned to this genre. If an artist is the master of his profession, he can paint on a variety of topics in different genres to realize his capabilities. For example, in one of his first works, Jamal, the picture of a young girl lighting fire in the high mountain pasture, carries a sense of lyrical sensuality. This view brings a sense of high philosophical idea and a great moral. In his pieces of works, we view Kazakh traditions and customs, the way of life and national identity of Kazakh people communicated through paints. Among Gildi Imanov, the first ones, Jamal, grandmother Amina, melodies of Dombra, and Kuz Ku, a traditional sport, and his other paintings depict an impulsive image of Kazakh heroes, mother's mercy, delicate nature of charming girls in a true natural way. <laughs> His well-known paintings as Motherland and Kokpar are the socially significant epic works of high profile. These are large-scale paintings depicting people's way of life, customs and traditions. Teljanov did a great job creating portraits as well. We can highlight the composer Mukan Tulibayev's portrait among them. At that time, all of the artists served for the Soviet ideology, as exemplified by a portrait of two 
at Lenin and Jean Gildin's meeting. He created a lot of works which describe psychology of personality and its peculiarities. Teljanov was a well-rounded artist who was able to depict the specifics of realism involving many genres. His every painting is exceptional, depicts a broad picture and due to this became a rare diamond of fine arts giving wings to the viewer's imagination. Көкпар деген шығармасындағы ол енді ең үлкен де ең ауқымды үлкен көлемі жағынан да мәні жағынан да бір керемет шығарма. Мұндағы енді экспрессия, мұндағы жаңағы сол көкпар деген ұлтты ойын, ол тек қана ойын емес. Ол бүткіл мұна бір қалықтың мінез құлқын, өмір тұмысын, His painting Kokpar is a large work in terms of its scale and subject matter as well. What an expression there is. Kokpar is not only a traditional game, it is a great epic work, which embodies the behavior, way of life and history of the whole nation. If you notice the facial expressions of the people on galloping horses, excited with the thrill of the game, so that being unable to control themselves, prove their eagerness for heroic achievements and their bravery. You will also see the stone images in front of the galloping horses. These stones make you feel that the picture you see is a tradition, comes down to us from ancient times. The red rays of the setting sun are the tools used to make the picture full of energy and power. This is something that only the master, who reached the peak of his capabilities, can create. <laughs> Анау қызара батып білетқан күннің қызарған аспан осының бәрлігі жаңағы картинаның соншалықты энергияға, соншалықты күш-қуатқа толғандығын көрсететін бейнелеу мүмкіндіктері. Менің сондықтан бұл тек қана әбден толған, толысқан шебердің қолынан келетін дүниелер. The people's artist, while he was engaged in creative work, was the head of the Union of Artists of the Republic, as well as the Almaty Art Gallery. He made an invaluable contribution to the development of people's aesthetic sense, along with his teaching experience. The artist's works received the highest state awards. <laughs> Менің соның басынан бастап бұл ұсы қызмет істейді. Өзіне шәкірт тәрбейледі, сүретшілер дайындады. Менің ол үшерде бұл ұсы мұна ұстазлық қа келгенде... Телжанов өрді өзі тейтер әді Жүргенов Академия өз әртіс өз 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 � He brought up a number of his followers. While he was teaching, he was very demanding and strict. If there was something wrong, he could raise his voice and demonstrate his true character. Most of the talented painters, artists, were of the same class as Tiljano was. Therefore, he contributed considerably in nurturing followers. When the Theater and Art Institute was founded, he was the first head of the Department of Fine Arts. Then he was the first who gained the academic title of professor. These all come at a price works and achievements matter most. Due to this, this man has a special place in fine arts pedagogy. His famous painting, Jamal, with a humanistic idea depicting the moment of full harmony between nature and a human being, was uniquely exhibited at the International Art Exhibition in Montreal in 1987. 
Later, it was bought by the Tripyakov Gallery, 